It's done, K. We checking in with checking TV. You feel me? Damn. Cause being on that broke shit, I can't settle for. Just had a daughter, so she needs something to carry on. Man, this father shit have made a nigga very humble. Can never have it in my heart to let her tummy rumble. Pop a bottle, my nigga, for fathers who be on it. Tell my niggas I'm proud to be doing on my own shit. Grandma asked me about the music, so I say on it. Always gotta keep a sword when I can't condone it. And I'm a fucking kind of fool when it come to growing. Niggas really should mature instead of at her loafing. Niggas really should mature instead of at her loafing. Fuck your neighbors, niggas they talk about that paper I'ma just run up the back with the, uh We just gonna trap on this shit with the neighbors, uh Yo, I need a white girl suddenly shit like This is Check In TV Alright, yo, it's Check In TV So let the people know who we here with Don K, you know what I'm saying? I heard in Atlanta, but Originally born from Memphis, Tennessee Walking home, you know what I'm saying? Straight walking home shit, man, all the way For real, for real, but I heard the A though, doing my thing, getting his music shit going. Okay. Slow process, but you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing overnight, so we steady getting it, steady getting it. I'm trying to say. So how long you been in Atlanta? Going on two years. Two years. Going on two years now. Yeah, yeah. Everything been cool. I heard had a lot of shit going on. We ain't gonna talk about that, but yeah, I heard Atlanta shit cool, shit cool. So tell us like. Tell us about like growing up in your upbringing, like your parents, high school, like all of that. Let us know. I came up, I came up in Walker Home, like I said, but mm -hmm. I ain't really go to the schools in Walker Home for real, for real. Like in Walker Home, you got Full Road, you had Walker and shit like that, which is closed now. Fuck me up, the building ain't even right there no more. That, that's crazy. And then you got the high school, Mitchell. Mitchell, and then middle school, you got Chickasaw. Yeah. But I ain't go to now one of them time. I went to Four Road for a little minute, but I used to go to school outside. I went to Westwood. That was like my upbringing. My grandma went to that joint. Mine. For anybody. I know y'all hate when y'all go to school with y'all. Y'all parents or relatives. Because you got to be good and all this shit. Folks telling on you and shit. That was the worst thing. Real shit. But going to Four Road, though, my shit, though. I'm glad I went there. When nobody there, didn't nobody know me. I ain't gotta worry about getting in trouble and all this stuff. Yeah, we good, we were good. But I uh, bounced around throughout the city. I was in East Memphis for a little second. I was around in uh, Whitehaven for a little second, right there on Neely. Y'all know what I'm talking about for my Memphis and shit like that. Valley Forge. Y'all know what I'm talking about, bro. But uh, <clears throat> my folks. They were cool, they were cool. Shit was, shit was different. I ain't have to say, I ain't gonna say I just had like a real hard upbringing and stuff like that. I ain't just get what I needed though. Like, you know, I can't wake up and be like, hey, can I get a game and shit? Nah, I ain't, ain't working like that. It was, it was birthdays, holidays type of shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, everything was cool. I don't, my dad, I can't really talk too much about my dad. I ain't, I ain't grow with my dad, so I don't know for real, for real. I know him now though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He cool and shit like that, but. Yeah. yeah, I already know too much about my dad. My dad, mm -hmm. I don't know. So tell us, like, how long you been making music? Been making music. Honestly, I say 2017. 2017, though, I like did my own song by myself and shit. I'm sitting there for real, writing, going to the studio and everything, dedicated to it for real. So yeah, about 2017. When I for real started just liking it and trying to play around with it and stuff, I'd probably say like 2008, 2009, something like that. Y'all ain't trying to write rhymes and stuff like that in school. Yeah. Funny as hell. Funny as hell. It was, it was all right. It wasn't just the bitch, but it was all right. And oh, me and my homeboy, we used to sit there and always rhyme with each other and everything. And one day I was like, bro, we need to write this shit to the female or whatnot. Rap that shit to the female, the folks laughed at my I was like, damn, hell nah, I don't, I don't think they rap shit my ass, right? Let me just be on some funny shit. Let me do this band shit. Cause that's what I used to do be in the band and everything. Play the snare drum on that Nick Cannon shit. Y'all don't know what snare drum is. Play like that. But yeah. So we know like Atlanta's like a hot music scene. Mm -hmm. So where you feel like your music falls in place at? I heard in Atlanta, I feel like. I feel like the South Side so far, cause of 
that's really real where I be posted. That's where a couple people know me. I ain't gonna sound super now, but don't fuck no matter. College Park, out here on Cascade, Star Bridge area, like just pretty much Southside, Clayton County, out there. You know what I'm saying? Riverdale. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to merge over to get into the east side some more. I got some homeboys out there. Okay. They doing their thing right now. Hit the game shit. Got to let y'all know who they live. I need a lot of tour real quick. So, I appreciate it, appreciate it. Tell us, like, were there any obstacles during your music career that you went through that you could talk about? Man. Joe, I love you. I love you. You know what it is. I love it. But goddamn it, my homeboy Joe, that man, goddamn, he put me through it. Man, <laughs> bro. He uh, he started off with the music in college. That's when it started getting serious. 2016 going on to 2017. Mm -hmm. So he uh, him and my other homeboy Josh, they had got some equipment and shit like that. Like I said, we in college, so we used our refund money. Well, they used that refund money. I ain't use my refund money. <laughs> they use that refund money and stuff like that. Got some studio equipment, mic, all that little stuff like that. Program and shit, uh, logic. You know what I'm saying? And bro was, bro was getting it in. Joe, he was getting it in for real, making beats and everything like that. And uh, I'll just sit there and write, write to him and everything. Just sit there and listen to it. And I was getting good at it. Yeah. Whoa. As time went on, start recording and stuff like that, we kind of, I don't know, it was just some kind of distance in between us. I really never knew what it was, but when the time to record and stuff like this, shit, shit just didn't work out. Yeah. Ain't like to record me like that. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I love you, Joe. <laughs> you know, you just like to record me like that, nigga. <laughs> so, uh, ain't like record like that, and he really want me having no beats and shit like this. So I'm like, man, I'm just gonna try to make my own shit. And then got to a problem where he ain't like me using this equipment, which is respectable, you know. Got my own shit now. Well, uh, was using his equipment and stuff like this, so we kind of fell out about that whole little situation. And I said, no, okay. I need to start kind of doing my own thing or, or yeah. be cool with people who really just fuck with me like that. So, a lot of shit went on in the turn, going, going back to Memphis. I was in Nashville, by the way, when all this is going on. Well, uh, Went to Memphis and me and my homeboy Cliff, mm -hmm. who, who I still work with to this day, we started working on music together and that's when I started realizing, okay, damn, this shit, this shit nice, man, this shit nice. We started doing some stuff together. But, oh, uh, I just, I kind of wanted more though. I just kind of wanted more. Yeah. I couldn't really, at the time, he wasn't really just good at mixing like he really needed to. So I used to go to the real studios. And the real studios, man, like, them motherfuckers, boy. Mm -hmm. If you ain't spinning go out and they, if they just don't feel like you ain't it, they not gonna put their all into it. Yeah. So that was my trial and tribulation. I had a whole bunch of mixtapes and songs and stuff that kept on files getting deleted and mm -hmm. People just not mixing it the way I needed to. They don't want to send them old drafts, whether they paying you or not paying you. Uh, they just, it just, it just got crazy. So after my first mixtape with Shitty, y'all need to go check that out. <laughs> Rare One of Music One. That yeah. shit, that shit was like nah. So by the time my next mixtape came out, I was like I'm gonna get my own shit, start mixing myself, record myself. If I need to learn how to make beats, make beats. We gonna do it all. You know what I'm saying? So. Definitely some, definitely some ups and downs to it. Oh, was some funny shit though. Yeah. Where I got scammed one time. Real talk. How? Real <laughs> talk. Out here, this is how the story of Atlanta started. <laughs> yeah. This is how, this is how Don came to Atlanta. Yeah. So I had it was a showcase, and uh -huh. uh, I'm like, man, bro, I'm gonna be on some fly shit this year, man. It's 2018 now. Yeah. 2018, like, I'm gonna take this shit serious. I got a hot ass song. You know what I'm saying? I got a couple hot song. I'm like, bro, I'm gonna get out here. Fuck this. Dude promoting uh dude promoting uh they had a showcase at Patchwork. Patchwork studio. Mm -hmm. It's not y'all fault Patchwork. I ain't gonna blame y'all. But that nigga, yeah, he yeah, his ass scanned the shit out of me. I wish I remember what that nigga name was. Damn. I wish I remember that nigga name was. But uh, paid him like three hundred dollars to uh do the do the show. Shit look legit as hell back then. I'm talking about had a contract, all that shit out of mind. He sent it to me, signed it over, everything. Had a whole bunch of other artists along with it, A&Rs and stuff in on it. Oh, 
Damn, what's this dude name? Monster Beast. Monster Beast. Jane LaFerre. I know you don't, don't get mad at you know you, you know you had something to do with that shit, nigga. But oh, man, I'm talking about a bunch of legit names and shit, so I ain't feel like it was a scam, you know what I'm saying? But got out here to Atlanta. Me, my homeboy Josh again, and my producer now. I made beats with my other producers as well, Troy. Oh, no, damn. You need to edit that part out. <laughs> my other producer, uh, Frenchy, French Augustine. We all went out there together to Atlanta and everything. And keep in mind, French is from New Orleans. So he ain't in Memphis with me. Me and Josh in Memphis. So we just, we drove out there. He flew out there to Atlanta. We get out here to Atlanta the day of the show. Couple hours before the show. Why my man counseled that junk? Said he got sick. Saying he can't, uh, he, he can't, he, he, he just not well. He in the hospital. So I'm like, bro, what in the fuck? How you gonna cancel this time hours before the show? And if you been sick, why you ain't been saying nothing with your been sick ass? Yeah. But it's all right though. That shit, yeah. bro. That's nah, it wasn't all right. I ain't gonna lie. I'm still mad about that shit. Yeah. Boy, that shit fucked me up. I ain't gonna even lie. It yeah. fucked me up, man. Real talk. Yeah. So we just like fuck it, man. We gonna sit here, buy some gas out here in Atlanta, make a couple beats and shit like that. Mm. You no, know, it was cool. It was cool. Cause that really the first time me and French actually like linked up together. Niggas used to send me beats online and stuff like that. So. It was cool. We got to we got to catch a vibe and shit like that. Went down to uh, went down Auburn. We had went to uh, damn, what the restaurant called? <coughs> I can't remember. It was blue, the Blue Cantina. We went to the Blue Cantina. Seen the fur with all that bullshit, smoke gas. I don't know what type of event was going on because Atlanta was packed as hell that weekend. Yeah. So my shit was real packed. The next day, the next day we had uh. Some event going on, I'm talking about downtown was deep as hell. Yeah. We out there smoking weed and stuff like that. Oh, looking at us crazy too. Oh, looking like, damn, boy, y'all, why is it out here? But you know, yeah, what it is. We smoke at it, we don't give a fuck. Yeah. But, yeah, that was, that was a crazy experience though. Uh, dude, long story short, dude never. He never hit me back. He used to give me the run around about giving me the money back and all that stuff. And once I started tagging his ass out on Instagram, man, exposing his ass, my boy deleted his page. He either blocked me or deleted the page, one of the two. And never just never heard from him. Dude, fell the face of the earth. Real talk. Fell so, the face of the earth. So tell us, like, what's your creative process like when you're making music? What you need in the studio? I definitely need some weed for sure, for sure. I need uh, I need good vibes, positive vibes. Like usually, a lot of people they can have all the lights and shit like this. Like this really cool. But I'd rather just have like the music going, me the producer, whoever it is. If I got a homeboy that's gonna be there, roll up something, you know what I'm saying? That's cool or whatnot. But I ain't really the type of person where I gotta have a whole lot of people. There. You know, you bring some females through, of course, everybody wants some bitches through. So they bring some females through like that, and oh, uh, that's it for real, for real. I'm starting to get into candles and shit like that. Oh, uh, yeah. start lighting candles and stuff like that when I'm sitting there writing. And that's really my creative process. I might go ahead and sit, sit there right by the mic and everything, just be ready to go ahead and punch me in. Because if I come up with something right there and there, I want to go ahead and just see it. Yeah, just go and, ahead. Yeah, just go and go with it for real, for real. The writing cool, but I just, just want to go with it for real. So, how do you, def well, how do you define your sound then? My sound right now, I can say it's some it's some new age shit for sure. It's definitely some new age shit. Yeah. My sound pretty much it's 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 a mixture of different this down south vibes. You know what I'm saying? I gotta have my uh, I can break down like this. When it come down to my beats and shit like that. I gotta have me like that three six type of snare or some shit mm -hmm. like that. I need me some knock and kick every time. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the melody, I be on some West Coast shit. Or I might be on some, you know what I'm saying, East Coast shit. I love I love I love the melodies that New York and, and California have. Mm -hmm. That was just my thing. So I I got I got a mixture of, uh, between the three. I got a mixture between the three right now. You mix all that together. That's me. That's me right there. All the way. I'm gonna give you some bars when you need to hear some bars. I'm gonna give you some vibes when you need to hear some vibes. Yeah. Shit, I'm gonna give you some turn shit when you need to hear some turn shit. Yeah, for real. So, 
I don't think nobody really doing it like that. Everybody pretty much, everybody pretty much into doing what's hot. Yeah. And, and, and for the moment, I'm, I'm, I'm here for, I'm here for help, you know what I'm saying? So I always make new shit. So tell us like, are there any collabs that you plan on doing or future collabs or any artists you plan on future doing something? Future collabs right now. I got, like I said, I got, my, I got my niggas a hippie gang and shit like that, but besides that, we're working on, we're working on Don Cat right now. We're building this shit up. A couple people who I would like to work with. Mm -hmm. I gonna say, uh, Currency for sure. Mm -hmm. Wiz for sure. Larry June. A whole bunch of chill people, you know what I'm saying? They, they go hard though. They go hard. Everybody else, I ain't really just, I ain't really just hype on them. I say money bag, yo, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? We from the same neighborhood. Right yeah, there, you know what I'm saying? Babe, we gotta link up, man. Come on, we stay down street from each other, So, who would you say is your biggest critic of your music? My biggest critic of my music? Mm -hmm. I probably gotta say my daddy, for real, for real. Mm -hmm. I don't know, he be on my ass when it comes to the <laughs> real talk. It's crazy. He used to rap back in the day and everything. Mm -hmm. He uh, he came up and walked home, too. Yeah, he used to rap back in the day. Uh, Damn, I wish I remember the group now. He gonna be like, damn, how you remember? Oh, uh, but yeah, him, him, and a couple of my other people that was that was on the upcoming. Him and him and yo got it. Actually, both of us was on the uprising at the same time. But you know, we see who end up. <laughs> we see who end up winning and shit. Yeah. But yeah, he 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 might be his critic though. He he be on my head with a whole lot of shit. He be like, man, come on, man, you gotta put your songs out. You gotta put your music out. You gotta get some music videos. I gotta do that and that and that. You know. He, he be, he be on that shit, for real. But you know, you need stuff like that though. Then, that's, that's for sure. You keep hearing stuff like that, you come back like, ah, I did it, I did yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? You, you think you, you think you shitting on me and, and, and showing them that you can do it the whole time, shit. Man. You, you, you doing it for them, you doing it for yourself, shit. That's true. Well, start learning that you doing it for yourself, for real, for real. Y'all need to get your work at this up, man. So what would you say is your biggest inspiration in this music? We'll keep it going. <laughs> Damn, man. I hate, I hate to, to do it to y'all niggas. Niggas is putting out trash music. <laughs> That's my inspiration. I'm tired yeah. of hearing the trash shit. So I gotta be like, fuck it. Let me just do it myself. Fuck it. That's just, just how I feel with it, for real. But on the on the on another tip though, uh, it's the it's the melodies. The melodies, the melodies keep me going for real, for real. If it's some, if it's some hard shit, yeah. I'm gonna I'm I'm go with it. And life, life will help you for real. Keep on inspiring it to make music. When you keep doing shit, that's how you can keep rapping about shit. Like fuck all the jury and the cars and all that shit. Like yeah, you can rap about this shit, but like experience in life though. Traveling here, traveling there, this relationship, that relationship with this person or my your, your partner, whoever you with and stuff like that. Like mm -hmm. that's what helped me keep making shit. If I if I want going through life, shit, it'd be hard to make music. Okay. Mm -hmm. So some of the artists that you say you wanted to collab with are those like some that influence your style of music? Most definitely, most definitely. Currency Wiz for sure. Larry June. I just started listening to him. The nigga go hard, but uh, yeah. I will say it's it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. I'm finna say that. I used to like Eminem growing up. I used yeah. to like Eminem. I used to fuck with Usher. I used mm -hmm. to fuck with uh, I used to fuck with Outkast a little bit. I ain't just gonna mm -hmm. just say I'm fully I don't own this shit. Like I just listen to him, but I used to listen to that growing up. Hear Project Pack. My mama, my mama car ride around and stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, them, them, them. I don't, I don't. People inspire me for sure, for sure. And I just kind of started blending it, doing it my own way. And then I was in a band too, so mm -hmm. it's just, it's just some about, some about the music that I always just killed me wanting to do it. Mm -hmm. And once I got to college with it, mm -hmm. that's when I was like, I don't. I don't it was just something about the band. I'm just like, man, I don't really like this. Man. I want to keep, yeah. I want to keep doing. I want to, I want to, I want to make music for myself. You know, the band, we, we, we making music. Trust me, we'll make the beats and everything. But we kind of still trying to interpret it like how the song was. And I got yeah. tired of making shit for how, how, like, I got tired of making beats for the shit we already got. I wanted to start doing my own thing. Yeah. So, 
how do you feel about like the support that you receive with the music and everything? Like, how you feel? Man, ooh. it's been me and French. I'll say it again. It's been me and French. Yeah. It's been me and French. <laughs> we got we got a couple people that's been helping out. Mm-hmm. People like my homeboy Clue. My homeboy Joe, cause we know so we tap in together now. Yeah. Joe. We link up and stuff now. We uh we, we got some things in the works. Uh-huh. So yeah. So where do you see yourself within a year with this music? A year from now? Yeah. Man, we going crazy. It's gonna be music videos I love. We finna start tapping into the uh-huh. NFT shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. We going crazy. We going crazy. Y'all gonna see me in a different spot. <laughs> Y'all gonna see me in a different spot when we uh when we doing some more interviews by next year. So do you feel like you need a gimmick to gain attention at any point in time? If the music ain't like going? Nah, cause shit, I'm a I'm a walking man, I'm a walking man band with this shit. Hey, if, if if the rap shit ain't working out, bro, I damn show make beats. If the beat shit ain't working out, I damn show records you. If the record shit ain't working out, I damn if show can mix you. Yeah. Fuck it, we running the label with it. Exactly. New age research group. Shit, I'm saying, come on, we can do something. <laughs> it ain't gotta be me. That's my thing. It's 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 not about me. You know what I'm saying? I don't, yeah. If it ain't working out for me, trust me, something else is for sure. So if you were to sign, would it be to a major? Or would it be a distro deal? Uh, I used to think about doing distribution deal, but truly, mm-hmm. I really just want to get out the mud for real. I don't, yeah. I, don't, I don't see that being my story. I, don't, I, I just don't see it. I ain't no real deal. Maybe a partnership, maybe, but I don't see no money in signing. I don't, I don't, I don't see it no way, no how. <laughs> so, do you believe in a plan B or you know music's gonna work? My uh, music for sure gonna work. Music for sure gonna work, but niggas gotta have a plan B. Niggas definitely gotta have a plan B for sure, for sure. I got a, uh, got a tow, got a tow truck in the in the works right now. I'm gonna have that shit coming soon. For sure, for sure. So, so, with that being said, is there any like business ventures or merch that you got coming out or out? Oh, we definitely gonna have some Don K stuff going on soon. Marijuana yeah. Music Volume 2 shit going on soon. New Age shit going on soon. I'm telling you, man, we gonna, we gonna have it out. We gonna have it out for sure. We gonna have some, man, if we gonna have some, I say, by the summertime for sure, May, mm-hmm. June, we gonna have a whole lot of merch. A whole lot of it's, it's gonna be a lot of shit going on. It's all I can tell you. Just give it some time. You gonna see. It. So, I ask all artists this: Who's like the top five all upcoming artists you listening to? You can add yourself to the list too. Them, them, listening to up all yeah, upcoming. All upcoming. Uh-huh. Larry June for sure, for sure. I say he probably. I I don't want to just put no. I don't want to put no number on it. So I just say Larry June for sure. Uh-huh. Done K for sure. Oh, uh, upcoming wise, my homeboy, my homeboy Garcia, Gua Garcia for sure. Mm-hmm. Bro going crazy right now. I can't even lie, bro going crazy. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna throw a hippie gang in there all, all together because it's just mm-hmm. a gang of niggas. <laughs> and oh, uh, my last one. listen to nobody like that. Yeah. I don't know. That's all good. So, all right, is there like any last minute shout outs or a message you want to give to the people before we go? Oh, okay then. One thing. Mm-hmm. To talk, to try to, to kind of pick up big off the last person. The last, the last person I said my home was Courtney. Courtney going okay. crazy right now. Courtney is going fucking crazy right now. Real talk. And oh, I want to give a shout out. They won't give a shout out to my mom. She she birthed my ass, so you know that's that's some real shit. But even not even outside of that though, she yeah. she helped me out through some real like real shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't really just have conversation like they don't have that type of relationship with their mom like that. So I say shout out to my dad, my old. When I say my dad, I'm talking about my stepdad, but that's my dad though. Cause yeah. man, bro came into my life and shit. On some real shit, so I can definitely appreciate that. Grandma's for sure. 
Grandma always hit me out to do a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> My grandma's is the reason why I went to prom. That's just a funny story for another interview. <laughs> but uh I had to say I had to say friendship for sure. Shit, we've been growing together on this stuff. And all the encouraging words I really can have you is my believe in yourself and just it sound it sound cliche saying that believe in yourself and all that stuff, but nah like for real believe in yourself. Like real shit. Like if you think you can be a a movie star, bro, do that shit. Like it's, it's people out here doing this shit, like for real. Believe in yourself, keep working hard, stay consistent. You gotta stay consistent, man. Don't believe don't believe you can be a movie star and you ain't went to no uh, call cast and shit like that. I don't want to hear all that. You got to stay consistent, man. Yeah. Keep growing. Know that things take time. Know that things really take time. Like, whether it take five years, ten years, man, stick with that shit. But have your plan B on the side, though. Don't, don't, be, don't, 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 don't be playing A for ten years and, and <laughs> ain't make no money and shit, but you got to yeah. keep hustling. And, uh... Just stay true to yourself. Just stay true to yourself. Don't whatever your morals is, stick to your morals. Like believe in it. And that's all I gotta say. So tell us, like, where can we find your Instagram and your music? Follow me on Instagram at the real underscore the real Don. Facebook, you can find me at Don K Music page. Instagram, I mean Snapchat, TikTok, and all that. We got something there for the works. So we, we ain't tapped in on that yet, but we, we gonna get there. And as far as my music on Apple Music, all the streaming platforms, Don K, Don Dash K. Okay. D U N, not D O N. For y'all niggas, y'all, you know, y'all niggas are literate sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's it. That's it, man. All right, we appreciate you for checking in with us, man. Most definitely, most definitely. I'm glad y'all can do. Y'all got to check my boy Frost out, man. I'm trying to tell you, we going crazy. We going crazy right now. Real fast, yeah. What, 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 they, what, what, what you got in the works? What you got in the works? I got videos about to come. Y'all about to see a whole new shit for coming out for the new year, so... All I can say is stay tuned, for real. Stay tuned, stay tuned, man. I'll tell you, Frost going crazy, man. <laughs> Hey, appreciate you, bro. Most definitely, most definitely. Appreciate you, too. All right, we out. Scooby, fuck your neighbors. Niggas, they talk about that paper. I'ma just run up the back with the, uh. We just gonna trap on this shit with the neighbors, uh. Yo, I need a white girl settling shit. Like it's the Check-In TV.